So I've got a new idea for a new product or a new project which includes my cabinet drawers for all my components. This is all for electronic and prototype engineering. But the idea is, is to have an AI controlled inventory component drawers, right? Now I'm gonna start with cabinet one, which is like the main discrete components. I'm gonna change some stuff around though and then rejig some of these around as well. This is mainly uh, microcontrollers and ICs and sensors and things, right? So here's the plan, right? Is that I'm gonna have a button here, which will be like a push to talk with a little I2S microphone and an ESP32. Now this is just theory, but let me know your thoughts. And I wanna be able to push the button, yeah, speech to text and say, Where's the 10 microfarad capacitors? Yeah. And then that will translate the speech into text using something like 11 labs, speech to text. Um, I'll then, I'll probably just use PHP and MySQL, right? I can do all that and API calls via PHP. It saves me setting up a make automation and paying out for operations. So I'll show you everything I'm gonna do as well as part of this project. But the idea being is I'll be able to ask it where's my 10 microfarad right i know mean, obviously i'm i'm going to know it's there <laughs> but 10 microfarad capacitor and then essentially it will reference a mysql database on my 007 lab server uh, where i'll have all my inventory and so this will be like a0 a1 a2 a3 and so on b c d e right Obviously these have five drawers, these have three, this has one, but this can be this can be compartmentalized, you know, you can put compartments in here if you want. So I'll make allowances for that. But the idea is they'll all have like a ID position, right? And what I want to do, I'm thinking LED strip, right? Now this is like super nice five millimeter, like these LED pixels are like two millimeters by two millimeters. So these are the smaller ones. Now these are really tightly packed. This is 200 LEDs per meter. So there's two LEDs per centimeter. Now I would probably use 100 LEDs as a meter. So it'd be one LED every centimeter would be fine. Maybe 120, depending on how it fits. But what I'm thinking is I can put this, you see there's this lip here. And yeah, there's a, this is just rolled steel. So it's just a lip that hangs down. Oh, I think I've lost it out there now. <laughs> I've just lost. Let's get a screwdriver out. Let's see if we can get that back out. So, not in that lip, but before that lip, I'm thinking we'll have the LED strip. I'll get that out later on. We'll use this here as an example. So we'll have the LED strip sort of stuck to the top, if you like, right? Just before that lip. Uh, so it won't, it won't interfere with the tray because you know this will just sit up there and then what it will do is there will be work we'll work out about five leds per tray yeah shining down and so essentially i do where's my show me the 10 microfarad capacitors and it would light up yeah it would basically flash up this drawer yeah and there's my 10 microfarad capacitors, right? So maybe all of the other drawers would turn red with some animation and go down to one, one drawer that's lit up green. But it would also, or even just white, because then if you think about it, having it up here poking down, like shining down, it's gonna light up inside, which might be quite, might be quite handy when it's dark, right? So, and while it's not being requested anything, they could all just be a nice warm white or something, you know, like I've got the downlighters here for the lab area, yeah. So I'm thinking maybe having, I mean, it works out quite a lot of strip, but if I buy a five meter strip, which from AliExpress is pretty cheap, it's about 11 pounds, so that, and I can do, it's about 2.5, 2.4 meters to do one cabinet. So it's about six pounds, of LEDs, yeah, eight dollars for one cabinet, right? So it's scalable. Obviously, the ESP32 and stuff like that, right? But 
the idea being is that I speech to text show me my HTC 245 logic level or something ICs and it would flash up you know or it would light up the tray that's got them in and then no matter what I'm asking for it would just light it up and there may be some things that I don't even know I've got so as part of that going through the inventory it would help keep things organized as well kind of like I'm doing here where I'm trying to get all this a little bit more organized and I'm probably going to take all these out of the baggies I mean these are all these are all like I don't know a hundred to a thousand picofarad or a hundred picofarad to one nanofarad depending which way you look at it so it's not like there's a massive range in there so I don't really need to have them in all these separate baggies to be honest you know um, so I'm going to take all those out and it will be a little bit more organized um, and get those back in here redone like I've done with the like I say the resistors uh, much nicer looking now than it was before yeah and I've just taped set of tape basically over there to keep it together I can just pull one off here as I need it yeah this is obviously right up at the two mega ohm end but yeah and I can just you keep track of quantities as well perhaps and uh, when I'm putting stuff in if I buy some bits and pieces um, and I need to add something in I can have a speech to text as well button just to say add uh, add five any five five timers <laughs> into the uh, any five five timer tray and it will update the quantity is the idea um, so that's the plan I say it's a plan I mean this is just an idea I came up with for um, you've got these larger trays as well these are um, breakout board type things and sockets for ICs yeah um, so there'll be a slightly different configuration for the triples and the full but essentially that's 44 trays um, that's quite a few LEDs I think it works out it's about 28 centimeters here so that would be 28 LEDs if I went for uh, 10 LEDs a meter so it's quite it's quite a lot but the ESP32 S3 is pretty capable you know I could run one cabinet one data pin one cabinet yeah and then that would be a second data pin third data pin and so I'd keep the LED strip separate per cabinet so one cabinet would have all 44 trays on one LED strip data pin so WS2812 type things yeah um, neo pixels as some people refer to them so I thought I'd share my plan with you and let me know if you feel the pain if you're an electronic engineer or a prototype engineer and you've got anything like this or hobbyist I know a lot of people who do painting for example they've got lots of different um, crayons and paints and brushes and things in in cabinets like this so I just think it'd be a great project for us because it includes like obviously the AI automation where we'll be doing 11 labs speech to text or something um, and using API um, transactions and things and also communicating with the MySQL database which you can set up for free on your own server um, to hold your actual component inventory uh, and it also includes the electronic design with the circuitry which I think could be fun plus we've got some spanking LEDs as part of the project which everyone loves to see so yeah let me know your thoughts I think that's I mean do you know what I'll tell you the truth before originally I was thinking what I would do is I'd actually have the LED strip on the back and then it would shine but as you probably saw in a couple of these look I'm using these dividers because it can be quite handy um, like so these pots here I've got trim pots and multi-turn pots and things but the back same value uh, same values but these are like 5k um, ones at the back they're more panel mount potentiometers and things rather than those sorts of things so where you've got those dividers in the middle I fear the LED at the back so you're never going to see it at the front and again by using taking advantage of this lip here um, it can just shine down and actually help to light up the contents uh, as well so and it should give all of the trays an even illumination where it's been illuminated at the front 
Uh, you can see my old format here where I basically printed out on card and it's just faded in the sun. Um, I can't even read it anymore. This is like LEDs and display, segment display LED stuff, yes. Um, and all of these had, like the resistors had the color of the resistor band that it referred to and things um, with the title resistors. As you can see, I don't have that on all of them and these have all faded anyway. So I just, this is why it's become a real challenge to find everything and, you know, I'm pretty good knowing where everything is, but there does come a point. Um, and when you're talking electronic components and I can't remember the, the name of the IC, for example, but I know what it does. Uh, you know, do I have a logic level converter or do I have a, um, a network <clears throat> controller chip, for example, and it will just go bomb, 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 and it will light up, light up exactly the tray where it is. How cool would that be? Come on, tell me. <laughs> Agree with me. Come on, you know you want it. So that's the plan. I think that'd be a great project because I'll show you everything I'm doing, how I do it, um, and why I'm doing it. Got these books as well here, which are just like surface mount resistors and then capacitors at the back. Uh, these are 603 size, I think they what are these, 80, 805 are these? 805, yeah, so these are slightly larger. But these are cool, they're quite, they're quite economical as well, but you've got every single resistor throughout that's, that you can possibly buy by surface mount, and then you've also got um, capacitors as well, look. Uh, but yeah, so they're cool. Uh, that's not going to be going in there obviously but yeah these are the sorts of things we have to contend with uh, when we're into these sorts of things so yeah let me know your thoughts I think it'll be a great project I think it'd be super useful for me as well um, I've never done an inventory before so it'd be quite interesting it might I'll have to come up with a method of entering in the quantities of everything if I get to that sort of granularity at some point um, and I can do that maybe with speech as well so watch this space definitely subscribe if you sound like that's something you might be interested in uh, following along with all the other projects i still got to do so yeah i thought i'd share that idea let me know and uh, i'll start putting something together for us and we'll start figuring through the details and i'll be able to use it as a method to let you know how i go about designing these sorts of projects and products and things and you never know we could end up it being some off the shelf thing that you can grab and uh, implement into your own cabinet. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. 007 Labs. Beyond Experimental.